to a specific account? Yeah. Well, I would say your marriage sounds like it's going to last, so I think you should think of yourself and your husband as a unit. And I would, you should, in my view, you should look at your overall financial condition and not worry about where the location of the assets will be. So if you have a net worth of X and you have 20% of it and you're in, in, in a 401k and 30% outright and so on like that, just look at the whole picture and decide what mix of assets, what type of assets you want, and and don't treat them as being in in separate pots. I mean, at, at Berkshire, you know, we own stock, we, we own stocks in a whole bunch of different. Ins our insurance companies own uh, stocks in separate portfolios, and we even have a portfolio in Cologne, as mentioned earlier. Uh, I don't even think about what entity anything is in. You know, it's all working for Berkshire, and I think you should. Uh, the way to think about your situation is to think about it all working for your family. Now, if you're, uh, you know, you strike me as having a, a very solid marriage, and I think your husband would be crazy if he split with you. But the, uh, if you're if you're just starting out, you may want to keep your money uh, separate for a while so you see how how it plays out because a significant percentage do end up in divorce. This is I don't get into marriage counseling very often, so. It, it, I'm, I'm, I, I can feel I'm, I can feel the ground sort of disappearing between my feet here, but I will turn it over, therefore, to our marital expert, Charlie Munger. <laughs> yeah, they, occasionally they, you'll find an investment that is going to produce a huge amount of taxable income. It's a junk bond paying a high yield that's taxable or something. So some items are more suitable for those... Ta uh, retirement accounts that get tax deferral benefits. But apart from that, it's all one pot, sure. <laughs>